You cannot solve the problem with the same mind with which you created it. You cannot solve the problem with the same mind with which you created it. We must understand that when you are in a certain situation for a long time, whether it's death, it's sickness, a curse, addiction, you begin to think like that. You may be not in the beginning, but after a while you begin to think like that. It's the story we like to repeat in our church when they took a few millionaires and they made them homeless. Just to see what's going to happen in a few years with these millionaires. And they took a few homeless men and they made them millionaires by giving them a million. And in a matter of few years, the millionaires who became homeless became millionaires again. And the homeless who became millionaires became homeless again. And they came to the conclusion that being a millionaire has very little to do with money. It all has to do with your mind. And being a homeless person actually has very little to do with not, not having a job. It all has to do with how you think and if you talk to a person who is homeless many times you will see they didn't start thinking homeless but after time to cope with pain to cope with life and disappointment you develop a mindset with which capitalizes your situation and you're stuck in that situation and that's why you need a church that's why you need podcasts that's why you need the bible that's why you need testimonies why not so that your life can change so that your mind can be free to be on a level that your life is not so that your life can pick up to the level of your mind and somebody say amen and even if you lose it one day even if one day you know like uh, uh, what's what's the guy that went bankrupt uh, donald trump who went bankrupt like eight times or six times many times He's still a billionaire I mean he doesn't because why you don't lose the lessons you learned your mind is on a different level and your money drops so low but it's a matter of time and it picks up he doesn't think like a poor person and that's why he will not be a poor person I want to challenge you today not to think like a sick person when you're sick don't think like a poor person when you are poor don't think like a weak person when you feel weak don't think like a person who's defeated when you feel defeated when life is hard don't think on that level think on a higher level you are seated with Christ in the heavenly places listen to the testimony this week of a lady that really inspired me and she had seizures and epilepsy since the age of two she was born healthy but at the age of two she was taking a picture on a horse and the camera flash spooked the horse at the horse took off and dropped her at a high speed and she had a brain damage and because of this damage she started to have epilepsy she started to have this epilepsy on just every other day until the age of 13 and at the age of 13 they went to another level because of hormonal change in her body and she started to have a very big and strong epilepsy once a day and they were so huge that it caused her to be labeled with names that you don't want to even know in school they made fun of her she had no friends and she was convinced inside of her that her life is over they decided to do a surgery where they will remove certain part of her brain to ease the, the attacks of epilepsy during the surgery she had a stroke and even worse things happened to her and her life just started to go down and down and she tried to commit suicide twice by overdosing on pills and once by cutting her wrists but somebody rescued her until one day she was because she lived with her parents she was not able to socialize she would watch tv but she didn't watch any tv she watched christian tv now you may say you have epilepsy you had a stroke you have no life it's not your fault that at the age of two you fell from a horse i mean if anybody has a reason to just simply kill themselves and just be over it will be her but she decided that you know what i cannot change the epilepsy but maybe i can change my thinking she started to watch a Christian TV and then this particular channel that she was watching a lady gave a word of knowledge and she said there is a lady that's sitting on the couch and you have a brain damage through an accident that happened with the horse she mentioned the horse the moment the lady mentioned the horse as just just this goosebumps went over her back and she says open up he lifted her hand she says I am healed I am healed I am healed and for 30 days there was no epilepsy and she was so happy and relieved until on 30th day she had the worst epilepsy she's ever had in her life but during this time this was different epilepsy because when the epilepsy came 
and she was shivering and shaking in the kitchen for the first time in her life she fought back in her mind and she said to that epilepsy in her own thinking I am healed and you're not gonna come back to this body again because she's sitting on the couch she didn't just receive a healing she received a new mind she started to think not no longer on the level of cutting my wrist on the level of I had a stroke on the level nobody loves me and I have epilepsy but she started to think on the level that by his stripes I am healed and it was so convincing that in the middle of her epilepsy she started to fight back and said this is not my portion it's been seven years and she never had an epilepsy again Today she can drive. Today she can do everything by herself like a normal person. She is unrecognizable and the effects of stroke are completely vanished from her body. Why? Was it luck? No. Even when the sickness came back it was confronted with the mind that's been renewed. I'm gonna leave you with this verse. It says in Romans chapter 12 verse 2, do not be conformed to the world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed. God's saying you can be, somebody say transformed. Somebody say I can be transformed when my mind is renewed.